Hey everyone, welcome to your Tuesday strength and hip box workout. So we're gonna be using dumbbells, we're gonna be boxing, and we're gonna be using hit drills as our formula to wrap it all up together. So today's gonna be really exciting. I am super excited to see you. I'm back on my first original set. There's just something good that feels just back to home, right? So I'm very excited to be here today with you guys. We're going to warm it up. And then as always, it's a 20 minute workout start to finish. So I'm going to start my clock for us and we're going to warm up for about three minutes. Now it is just boxer shuffle with me while I explain no matter how long or short your workout is, I'm going to go ahead and just tell you right now, you always want to prep the body. It is so imperative and important. So doesn't matter how long we work out together. We're always going to make time for our warm up. Keep going. I'm going to make sure I can see your comments. There we go. What's up, Sporty Spice? And hi, Erin. Good to see you guys. Okay, 30 second mark. I want you to take it to a high knee jump rope. So just start to move the arms by your side. Pick up those feet. Hi, A Logan. Good morning to you too. Now, if you're doing a no impact version, because you know every workout I do with you has options, and I don't like the word modification. Sounds like it is less than. It's not. It's just an option to take out the impact. So you choose. I'll always show you both. There's going to be a couple areas today that you're going to want to pick that option if you want. Good. Okay, from here, I just want little twists side to side. This is going to wake up your core. Hey, Sebastian. Good morning to you too. And if you're not jumping, look, little tippy toe turn side to side. Now what I want you to do is whew, arms and feet and knees go opposite direction and you're squeezing your core. If you're jumping, you're light jumping side to side. So you want to land soft. That's the key to plyometrics and being really safe on your knees and your joints. Good. So land soft. Couple more. All right. Inchworms, we got to... Definitely warm up the core, walk out. I want one push up. Take your time, come back, stand all the way up, use the glutes, push through. This is a fantastic way to warm up the entire body. Whew. Keep your abs tight, squeeze it on through. Good, I'm gonna make sure I watch that clock. And then when we're done with this one, I'm gonna give you 30 seconds. You're gonna grab a sip or a towel. You know the drill. Just give me one more walk out all the way down, push up, come all the way back. And when you meet me at the top, 30 seconds is all yours. Grab a sip of water, grab a towel, and get set up for our first boxing set. So here's what you guys have today. We're going to do a boxing hit combo, then a strength move. Then we'll hit that boxing combo a second time using the other lead, and then we'll go back to that strength move. Okay, so come back up. You got your water. Pick a side. Now here's your combo. Hook up, duck cross. Yes. Hook up, duck, cross. I'm just setting it up. <laughs> duck, cross. So hook across, uppercut, duck, and across. Yes. 10 seconds. We're going to go full out for 30 and then we're going to grab a heavy set. And we're going to go into a full body strength move. Hi, Sylvia. Good morning to you too. Okay, here we go. Hook up, duck, cross. <laughs> If you're just coming in, make sure you warm up. And this could also be a warm up move because you just take it a little bit lighter. Come on, hook up, duck, cross. Hi, Trista, good afternoon. Duck, cross, hook up, duck, cross. I always think it would be cool. Oh, hey, Sean. Keep going, guys, five seconds. I always, I'm gonna hold you 45 seconds. I feel like you just get that sweat going. I wanna do a little longer. So 15 more seconds here. I feel like our uh, screen names should have our time zone in it. Wouldn't that be helpful? YouTube. Or we just added ourselves. Come on. Three, two, one. Okay. 15 seconds to grab your weight. All I did with that was cut into your break. So you guys can move quickly. Yeah. Grab a set. Squat, curl, press. This is a full body move. Squat, curl, and press. Good, okay, down and up. Come on, come with me. <sighs> Press up. Keep going strong, Sebastian. And hi, Sean, thank you for doing a little drive-by to say hello, and you'll hit that replay tomorrow. Don't you love it? Now you put it in writing. Now it's gonna happen. Good, keep going, team. Down and up, squat, curl, and press. Beautiful work. 
Down and up. You're going to start to breathe a little heavier. That's the goal. Just less than 15 seconds. <sighs> Pressing those weights overhead. Now make sure you're not arching your back. This is a full body workout today. The calories, the cardio is going to reflect that. Okay, set these down. Come back out. Now go to the other lead. So I had my right leg forward. Now I'm going to switch on the toes. Hook up, duck, cross. You ready? Your second side might feel a little funky, but you'll work through it. Hook up, duck, cross. Hook up, duck, cross. <laughs> duck, cross. Hook up, duck, cross. Keep your guard up. See you later, Sean. Keep your guard up. Now listen, you're always boxing and you're guarding your face, right? You got to make sure. <laughs> So keep the guard up if you're not punching. Duck low, boom, hit that cross punch like you mean it. 15 more seconds. Whew. Oh, now, Sebastian, I know what you mean by punching. <laughs> I love it. Hook up, duck, cross. Might have taken me a minute, but I put the dots together. Okay, break. Grab your dumbbells. We got another set of squat curl press. Now, if you're a beginner, you need to go a little slower. That's okay. Maybe drop the weight and just do body weight on the strength moves or take those hit box drills at a slower pace. Here we go. This and all my workouts, I should say, they're for everybody, every level. Just make sure you listen to my cues and take those options. Good. Down. Squeeze your glutes and press. Any newbies also... Just remove that curl press and just make this a straight squat set because I know you grabbed a heavier set. Good. Now I'm using my Select Tech 552s. Really easy to adjust. Grab whatever you have available or these babies are fantastic. Whew. Abs tight. You can always drop the weight down too if you need to. Good. You have three, two, one, 15 second break. So you can set these actually to the side. We'll probably use about the same weight. Again, do you. But a couple more seconds. We have our next hit drill. Excuse me. Yeah, hit box. So watch. Jab, cross, up. Step, back, push. Come with me. I'm going to show you from the side. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Step, back, push. You can even do it to the side if you want. Let's do that. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Step, back, push. Step, back, push. Jab, cross, jab, turn your hips, step back, push. Okay, so nothing gets me more fired up than boxing. And I just hit that level where it's like, we're on. So you guys, 15 more seconds. Come on, let's push. Jab, cross, jab, cross, hit. Make sure you're stepping back. You chamber your knee. You push through the heel. Retract that knee back in. Bring it back in. Squeeze your butt. Good. Break. Okay, we're going back to our dumbbells. I'm just going to give you a little bit of a peek of what you have. Lateral lunge, lateral raise. Combos. Love combos. Who's ready? Show me. Lateral and lateral. Easy to remember. Look, you can also be here. And then bring them down and back up for your lateral lunge. I'm going to stay there. Guess what that does? Sneaky little extra bicep curl. <sighs> Anybody else? So it's like habit stacking, right? If you can get more habits to stack together. This is like exercise stacking. Get more muscles moving together. Love it. Keep going. I know you feel this. <sighs> yes, yes, it totally makes sense. Keep going. A few more. <sighs> Very nice, take a break. Well-deserved break. I know you guys are working hard. Okay, so I boxed this way, so I'm gonna switch this way. Make sure you're going the opposite direction. Here's your preview. I'm just gonna give myself a little more space. I'm about to get crazy. Here we go, jab, cross, jab, cross, step back, push. Yes, hit, 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 hit. Turn that hip. Your cross is your power punch. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Then when you have it, remember, keep your guard high. 
always remember you're boxing one opponent. So I don't want jabs here and crosses here. Same target. 15 seconds. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Good. Also, close those fists. And you want 90% extension in your arms. What's up, Tony? Stack it up. I love it. And done. Grab those dumbbells. If you want to grab a sip, definitely sneak those in. As I mentioned, cutting or extending those boxing circuits to 45, just cutting your break. All good. Okay, here we go. Lateral, lateral raise. Good. How are we feeling, by the way, out there, you guys? 2022, I feel the electric energy. This year is going to be amazing, number one. And I'm so excited to kick it off with you guys. Do you agree? Mindset, everything that we've learned, now we put it into play and we get a little more intense, a little more focused. But guess what? A lot more results. Keep going. The effort you put in is going to equal the results that you see. Good. Three more seconds. Motivate that. Let that, that motivate you. Break. Set this down. Let that motivate you to push when things feel like they're too hard. Can't do that. Okay, I'm going to give you a little bit longer break because this next move requires a little bit more explanation. And you haven't had many breaks, so go ahead and do that now. Grab a sip. <laughs> yes, right? Sebastian's feeling tight. Definitely go check out some of my flexibility workouts if you have time today. Game changer. Add those in 10 minutes. New body. <laughs> okay, guys, watch. Jab, jack. Then we go down to a burpee. Whew. Up, up. Whoa. If you want to commit to just the jab, jack, take out the burpee. I'm good with that. We're going to do 45 seconds, one lead. Go to our weights. 45 seconds, the other lead. And then go to our weights. So by lead, I just mean I'm punching with my right arm first. Who's in for this one? I told you it needed a little bit more explanation. 15 more seconds. If you want a low impact version, you can go right there. Yes? I'm ready for this one. This is like the finale move because we're getting everything together. Hit and box. Ready? Go. Jab, jack. Burpee uppercut. Boom, boom. Jab, jack. Burpee uppercut. Low impact. I'm going to show you. Hit, hit. Jab, Jack, jab, jack. You can even come down into that squat lunge. Up, up. Yes? Come on. Hit, hit. I love those uppercuts at the top. I always feel like it's a sneak attack. You come up, you're like, they don't see me. Ha, ha. Yes. You got to make it a game. You got to visualize. You gotta visualize yourself getting as strong as I know you're getting. Good, three, two, one, done. Okay, grab those dumbbells. We are going to hit some chest in a standing position. So you're gonna bring it to an underhand, alternate, then flip it, upright row. Yes, come with me. Under, underhand raise, underhand raise, flip it. Now switch leads. Yes, you feel the chest, so you're squeezing basically. Keep going. You're coming underneath. You are getting the shoulder for sure. We're squeezing the pec. That's why you're coming in at a V angle. Really give me that nice, nice squeeze at the top. You're bringing everything in and up towards the midline of your body. You have 15 more seconds. Core tight. Boom. Yes. All these combos today should have your mind engaged, take a break, and give you something to work for. So if you today feel, first time you're doing it, a little like, what is this? moving fast, I do that on purpose, because I want these workouts to last. It's not one and done. It's one, first time, try it, come back and do it again. Okay, jab, jack, combo, go. Burpee uppercut. We're on the other lead. So with that information, if you ever get frustrated, don't worry. It's intentional. Upper. Ha, ha. Yes. 
Yes. Does that uppercut make you smile as big as me? Get under it. Boom, boom. Come on. I need you to unleash that superhero. Everybody has that superhero inside. This move's going to bring it out. Maybe we should call it the superhero combo. <laughs> Come on. Five more seconds. Good. You have three, two, one. Take a quick 15-second break, just long enough to grab those dumbbells. Last set, underhand, and then an upright row. We're going to do abs after this. Brace. So abs tight, strong base. Here we go. Underhand raise, upright row. Whew. Switch leads. Whew. So one thing I want to really talk to you about in this position, keep going. My job is to make these moves feel better for you. So when I stop and explain, just keep going and listen. So what you want to think about is your abs are bracing you. Your upper back is supporting that weight. So don't let the weight pull your shoulders down and sink into your low back. That's why we're going to work on the core next. That's why you need the integrity of your core. Think of yourself as just a steel beam. And boom, now I can hit all these moves because nothing's going to rock my core. Done. Okay, set these dumbbells back. We don't need them anymore. We're going to do body weight, core work. But I hope that makes a little bit of sense. I really want to make sure you know the why and the how because there's a lot of exercises out there, but are you doing them right? That's going to be the biggest difference, and that's going to make the difference in your body. Okay. We're going to go 20 seconds more of your break, enough to drink this entire gallon. Let's get it. But I am making a dent. Are you making a dent in your water intake today? Okay, come on down. We're going to do core work. Now, I am going to start us in a plank position, center plank hold. You can do knees or toes. So meet me down there. So really brace the abs, and we're going to hold this for 30 seconds to start. So I want you to think about looking down. So take your gaze down, tuck your chin, and I want you to pull it up so that you feel your spine nice and long. So the base of your neck should be pointed upward. So, excuse me, fight the urge to look up at me during these sets. Just listen to the coaching cues. Now pull your belly button in and up towards your spine. Good. From here, I want you to just rotate without dropping and come to a side. Now stack your hips. Stack your shoulders. Check it out. You can still do this, and you can stack your knees, but you can have a knee down. This is totally fine. This is one of those options that I hope you take if you don't feel stable in a full extended plank. So this is another option with the arm. Yes. Okay, I'm going to give you a little bit of plank reprieve. Just kind of turn around with me, sit in that V-sit, and we're going to come up to alternating Leg, arm reaches, come with me, and keep that crunch. Good. Now, how you make this harder is you go back further. Yes. And anytime you want to make anything harder, all you do is make everything bigger, longer, stretch up higher. That's how you make it bigger, and then that's how you would bring it back in, make it a little bit smaller. Right? Easy to remember. Okay. Flip around to your center plank one more time. Hold. Good. Keep pulling the belly button up towards your spine. Check it out. At this point, guess what? Everybody will still feel the plank if you're down on your knees. What you're not going to feel is your back. So take that option. Don't be shy. There's another thing I want you guys to really start to embrace. Don't be shy or nervous or embarrassed about taking an option because it's going to give you better results. Okay, turn to a side. I'm going to start on my knee. So I'm going to start on my knee, my hip. Option one, check it out. Option two, actually look, option two would be your feet staggered. That's harder. Good, really, really pull the abs up tight. I know you're seeing the clock, you're like, she going all the way to the end? I'm going till 30 seconds. Today had to be a big one. I wanted you to really, really feel this. Okay, flip around, last set, alternating one arm, one leg reach. But as I mentioned, and we will stretch out a little bit at the end, but we got tons of 10-minute stretches for you to go check out. So I encourage you to do that. That would make it a full 30-minute workout today, which would be awesome. Whew. 
You got 20 minutes of intense training and then 10 minutes of nice stretch. Done. Great work. Okay, I'm going to stretch us up standing up. So go ahead and come up to a standing position. You could take your time. I like to kind of just jump up right away, but don't feel like you have to. Meet me up here at the top. We're going to go a couple seconds over today with the stretch, but I don't think there'll be anything or anyone complaining that, right? Take your hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers. Okay, those shoulder moves. We definitely hit those shoulders pretty hard today, both with the boxing and with the weights. But I hope you guys feel amazing. I hope you boxed out any stress, heated up your body. Sebastian said it's cold mornings over there. Okay, take one arm down. Look over the opposite shoulder. Very nice. And switch. I think I made a comment. Uh, I think it was on social media about it being cold. I, I live in Southern California. <laughs> and I cannot complain. So I totally get that the cold weather is Definitely cold out there. Okay, round up. Round the shoulders. Good. Just give me a lateral, excuse me, a lateral adductor stretch each side. And switch. And then we'll hit the quad. Again, I'm going pretty quickly. So these are like bare minimum. You're going to go stretch if you have time. Thanks, Bowflex family. Switch. Great job. I don't know if you could see today. The sweat is definitely there. I hope you guys feel the same. Two deep breaths in. We're done. Inhale. Exhale. Last big breath in. Big smile. Inhale. Exhale. All right. Give yourself a round of applause. You did it. With that, I'll see you guys Thursday, 9 a.m. Pacific time. Make it a fantastic day, and I will see you then. Bye, team.